According to the Environmental Protection Agency, precipitation of rain and water is at the heart of the California water supply. And that supply is becoming increasingly taxed. The state consumes 2 million more acre-feet of groundwater than it recharges naturally. California is also at a higher risk for drought than other areas of the country. In the city of Ventura, our drinking water supplies are all local, from groundwater wells, Lake Acetas, and the Ventura River. During dry conditions like we're experiencing now, taking actions to use water wisely will leave more water in the environment and stretch our water supplies. Since 40 to 60 percent of water is used outdoors, it pays to make sure that your water irrigation system is working correctly. I spoke to Raoul Topeat with Ewing Irrigation and Supply, and he offered some great and valuable tips. Well, first, I have to check, uh, you know, the, their timer, the right amount of time for the turf ornamentals to understand their plants better so that they're just not overwatering. It's important to note the serial number and the model of your transformer. It helps us understand what kind of transformer you have and the number of stations you have on that transformer. People should take a picture of their landscape and their timer because it helps us to understand the area we're going to cover with how many sprinklers and what kind of timer, how many stations you have. Uh, timers range from three stations to 32 stations. So depending on how many stations you have, we can go from see um, how many pop-ups you're going to need per station. And depending on the area, how the length of it, the space between your pop-ups, will determine what size of nozzle you, you would use. Because usually there, there's from five feet all the way to 17 feet. And the standard is people come in by 15 feet and put it on an eight foot area. Now you're over spraying by seven feet. Raul mentioned that it's important to take photos as well as draw a sketch of your landscape. Both types of images help him ascertain the most efficient irrigation plan to suit your needs. He also explained other steps to take. It is important for you to know the ID of your pop-up. If it's a quarter spray, a, a half a spray, depending on where we're gonna put it, that would determine what kind of spray we're gonna use. Uh, there's The quarter spray is usually a 90 degree, uh, half a spray is a eight, 180, and a full spray is a 360. The other thing is, know what kind of pop-up you have. It's a, if it's a female or a male pop-up, a female or male nozzle, they, that will help us out a lot because then we will give you the right nozzle to begin with. It's important to, for us to know what kind of turf you have, what kind of plants, ornamentals you have, and that will determine the amount of water that your plant needs. Uh, there's some cold season grass that dor dormant during the uh, cold winter. The other grasses, depending on how thick it is and the um, and your soil dep depends how much water you're going to use. It's, it's important to check your, your system, especially because most of the systems run anywhere between four in the morning to six when we're asleep and we don't notice the leak till you know it's too late. You would want to check your system, you know, every month or so. Turn it on when it's light so you can see where the misting, if your nozzles are working properly, because sometimes they get plugged and instead of spraying, they just leak the water. You know, usually depending on what kind of grass, what kind of shrubs you have, they usually take a certain amount of water. Um, a lot of the thing is your soil. If you have clay soil, you, you might not need 15 minutes because it'll run off before it'll be able to sink in. Uh, so you would want to check your stations. Just go through your timer, uh, make sure that you, you don't have half an hour on station one when it's, you know, and then you see the puddle at the end of the, uh, in the morning when you go to work. Uh, that means you're watering a little bit too much. And good thing to do also is have a weather sensor, which if it's raining, it'll t automatically turn off your sprinklers. If you're not a landscape person and uh, you need to know more about your landscape area, I mean, you can reach out to the city of Ventura, you can reach out to Ewing. We have uh, professionals in store that would help you, guide you through what you need to do and what you need to know to uh, make your lawn more efficient. And so here we have some uh, rotors and some pop-ups. A rotor usually is a bigger, bigger head and it carries a nozzle. And these are for long distance um, sprays. 
So you'll be able to tell if we say, do you have a rotor or a pop-up? This is a rotor and these are your pop-ups. Now on your pop-ups, there are different kind of pop-ups. This one is a pressure regulated with a check valve. And you would be able to tell right up here, this is a uh, SAM PRS. And this is just a regular one that is, there's nothing on there. Here are our Toro ones and our Toro female pop-ups that take a male uh, nozzle. And you'll be able to tell the male nozzle has the threads on the outside, female nozzle has the threads on the inside. Um, different, different sizes, so we have anything from four feet, quarters, halves, and fulls, all the way to 12 feet, quarters, halves, and fulls. So these are our, our Toro nozzles, and these are our Hunter female nozzles. For more information, visit SustainableVentura.tv and search Ewing Irrigation Tips. SustainableVentura.tv for a better tomorrow.